Marcus Brimage says he was turned on to UFC by watching Dragon Ball Z and Rampage Jackson videos. 145! 145 for Marcus Brimage! In the welterweight to be... Oh, oh, oh. Cannot wait for that one! They call it the Globe here in Stockholm. And once again, the Octagon is here. The UFC on Fuel TV 9. Coming up next, it is Marcus Brimage, the Bama Beast. 3-0 in the UFC in a very emotional battle against Dublin, Ireland's finest, Conor McGregor. He's the most highly touted Irish prospect to ever enter the octagon. But Conor McGregor will have to dig deep to prove himself tonight as he faces the Bama Beast, Marcus Brimage. Out of Conor's 12 wins, 11 are not cut there, Kenny. 11 are knockouts, and he almost did it again. He can fight going backwards. Look again, at that, that uppercut. uppercut. Now, Marcus oh. Attack looking to finish it in. This is why everyone's been talking about Conor McGregor. It's all over. Wow. This kid's the real deal. Look at the uppercuts. It all started with the uppercuts. Outstanding UFC debut for Conor McGregor. And an awesome reaction as he enjoys his first career win in the octagon. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Conor McGregor. It means nothing, you know. I just come in and let the fight happen naturally. Whatever happens, happens, you know what I mean? Wherever the fight takes place. That's where it takes place, I don't plan anything. It's nearly like the WWE to me, you know, it's all just a little game. I'm just playing a little game, I don't really think anything. When I get in here, it's just the same thing, just keep calm. He was tough, I knew, I see, again, I thought, he got, I thought he was emotionally attached to the contest. And I thought he would have overthrown his shots, and he did. 12 knockouts, unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Dana, 60 Gs, baby! <laughs> Connor recently said he's going to single-handedly convince you to drag the UFC back to Ireland. Yeah. Has he swayed you a little bit tonight? I believe him. <laughs> I believe him. Kid is totally relaxed. He's a beast. I'm impressed. Uh, dresses well. <laughs> Handsome kid. Seems pretty smart. You good? All right. <laughs> Just last week, I was collecting the social welfare. You know what I mean? I, I, had to, I, was, I was in Saint Denis. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I'm signed to the UFC. I don't know what. Blah, 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 but now I suppose I'm just going to have to tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Are you planning to stay at Featherweight in UFC? Uh, I'll go uh, either, yeah. 145 or 155, whatever. Whatever's available, yeah. I stay ready so I don't have to get ready, you know, so... Whatever's there, I'll take. He wore the, the thing he wears, the, the mask, and I just said, listen, you're nearly 30 years old now. I think it's time to stop wearing a, a superhero mask. Things like that don't bother me. You know? It shouldn't bother any, any fight. You know? If you're in, in this game, and man, you could do anything to me. You could say what you want. It, it's not going to make a difference when, 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 I, when I get in there. You know? It's emotion free. and I, I think he was emotionally attached to the contest. I didn't have money before this. You know? Like I said, I was collecting 188 euro a week of the social welfare, and now here I am with like 60 G's bonus and then my own pay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck's going on, to be honest, right? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so you say this is the biggest victory of your Yeah, this is the biggest one, all right, yeah. 